Hello and welcome back everyone, today we will look back at the 1995 American movie To Die For. We will revisit the cast of the movie and will find out what happened to them. I will also tell you some interesting trivia facts about the show which you probably did not know, so let's jump right into it. Joaquin Phoenix, born on October 28, 1974, has left an indelible mark on the film industry. Known for his intense performances, he captivates audiences with his ability to bring complex characters to life. From early films like Parenthood to his iconic portrayal of Arthur Fleck in Joker, Phoenix's talent shines through. He's also a dedicated advocate for animal rights, making a positive impact beyond the screen. Joaquin Phoenix, an actor of depth and substance, inspires future generations. Ileana Douglas, a versatile and accomplished actor, has left an indelible mark in film and television. With captivating performances, she is one of the most respected names in entertainment. From her debut in Goodfellas, 1990, to memorable roles in Cape Fear, 1991, to Die For, 1995, and Ghost World, 2001, Douglas seamlessly transitions between drama and comedy. Her authentic portrayals have garnered critical acclaim. Notable TV appearances include The Larry Sanders Show, Law and & Order, SVU, and Six Feet Under. She has also directed and written films like Grace of My Heart, 1996. Douglas' talent and dedication have solidified her status in the industry. In the book To Die For, Suzanne Stone expresses her desire to have the actress recently married to Tom Cruise portray her in a movie adaptation, as mentioned on page 307. The actress she refers to is Nicole Kidman, who eventually played Suzanne in the film. In the book To Die For, Suzanne Stone expresses her desire to have the actress recently married to Tom Cruise portray her in a movie adaptation, as mentioned on page 307. The actress she refers to is Nicole Kidman, who eventually played Suzanne in the film. Kitwood Smith, a highly acclaimed actor, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His versatility shines through iconic roles like Clarence Boddicker in Robocop and Red Foreman in that 70s show. With exceptional comedic timing and dramatic prowess displayed in films like Dead Poets Society and A Time to Kill, Smith captivates audiences. Throughout his four-decade career, he has worked with renowned directors and actors, establishing himself as a respected figure. Kutwood Smith continues to be a force to be reckoned with eagerly awaited in his next chapter. Casey Affleck, born in 1975, is a versatile American actor known for remarkable performances. He gained acclaim for Jesse James, 2007, and won an Oscar for Manchester by the Sea, 2016. Affleck also directs and produces, showcasing versatility. He collaborates with renowned directors and supports charitable causes. Affleck's talent and dedication have made him a respected figure in the industry. Casey Affleck triumphed over his brother Ben and childhood friend Matt Damon for the part of Russell Hines. Gus Van Sant, when questioned about his choice, pointed out that Casey retained a distinct Boston accent unlike Ben and Matt, and he sensed a scrappier quality in Casey. It was clear to him that Casey was the perfect fit for the role. Nicole Kidman, an iconic figure in cinema, captivates with her extraordinary talent. From her breakthrough into Die For to her Oscar-winning performance in The Hours, she delivers captivating portrayals. Kidman's versatility, charisma, and ability to embody characters' emotions earn critical acclaim. As a producer, she brings forth thought-provoking projects through Blossom Films. Off-screen, Kidman's philanthropy and advocacy work showcase her compassion. With enduring success, she remains a true icon, leaving an indelible mark on film. Holland Taylor, a renowned American actress, captivates audiences with her remarkable talent and versatility. With a career spanning over 50 years, she has showcased her mastery of the craft on stage and screen. From embodying in Richard's Inn and to delivering comedic genius as Evelyn Harper in Two and a Half Men, Taylor's performances leave a lasting impact. 
Her dramatic prowess in projects like Legally Blonde and The Truman Show earns her respect from both audiences and critics. Beyond acting, Taylor's advocacy work for LGBTQ plus rights inspires inclusivity and acceptance. Holland Taylor's extraordinary talent and commitment make her an iconic figure. Casey Affleck, while involved in the film, shared a screenplay by Ben Affleck, his brother, and Matt Damon with director Gus Van Sant. This collaboration led to the creation of the acclaimed movie Good Will Hunting. David Cronenberg, a visionary filmmaker and actor, has left an indelible mark on cinema. Renowned for his blend of body horror and psychological depth, his films explore the human condition with intensity. Classics like Videodrome, The Fly, and A History of Violence showcase his distinct language delving into fears and desires. Cronenberg's fascination with the human Buddhist transformation is evident, combining grotesque imagery with profound themes. As an actor, his enigmatic presence resonates. He inspires filmmakers with his boundary-pushing approach, earning accolades and critical acclaim. Cronenberg is an unparalleled force, captivating audiences and leaving an indelible mark. Matt Dillon, a versatile and captivating actor, has delivered memorable performances throughout his four-decade career. From his breakout role in The Outsiders to his nuanced portrayal in Crash, Dylan effortlessly delves into complex characters. His ability to seamlessly transition between genres is a testament to his talent. Beyond acting, Dylan has directed and produced, showcasing his multifaceted skills. Active in philanthropy, he contributes to causes like Habitat for Humanity. Dylan's enduring presence in the industry and his commitment to making a positive impact inspire future generations. Nicole Kidman, captivated by the screenplay, strived for the lead role. Her determination led her to hunt down Gus Van Sant's personal number, reaching him at home. For 40 minutes, they discussed her insights on Suzanne Stone and her portrayal. Later, Van Sant called, confirming her triumph. Dan Hedaya, a versatile actor, has showcased remarkable range in film, television, and stage. From tough detectives to charming villains and comedic sidekicks, he brings undeniable presence. Born in 1940, he made his film debut in 1971 and starred in iconic roles in Blood Simple, The Addams Family, and Clueless. His impact extends to TV with shows like Cheers, Law & Order, and The Mindy Project. Hedaya seamlessly transitions between genres, displaying adaptability and skill. His performances captivate with depth and authenticity. He has received critical acclaim and awards, cementing his status as a powerhouse. Alison Folland, a talented actor born on August 10, 1978, in Boston, rose to prominence with her exceptional performances. Her portrayal of Margie Flynn in To Die For, 1997, showcased her incredible range and authenticity, earning her widespread acclaim. Fallen's filmography includes notable roles in Good Will Hunting, 1997, and All Over Me, 1997, where she brought diverse characters to life. Her dedication to multidimensional roles and ability to convey complex emotions have garnered praise from audiences and critics alike. Fallen's captivating intensity and commitment to substance make her a remarkable talent in the industry. With each new project, she continues to astound and inspire, destined to leave a lasting legacy in cinema. Meg Ryan declined a $5 million offer to portray Suzanne Stone, while Nicole Kidman accepted the role for $2 million. Two actresses, different choices. 